Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see what is Azure role-based access control and how role-based access control work. And in last, we will see how to assign role-based access control to the resources or resource group. So let's start. So what is Azure role-based access control? So Azure role-based access control is an authorization system that helps you manage who has access to Azure resources and what they can do with those resources and what areas they have access to. So to understand this particular lines, I'll go, what I will do, I'll go to my previous slides. Here you can see we have a Azure AD. Under this particular Azure AD, I have created a user. So basically this particular user is authenticated with the help of Azure AD. Now we need to provide access to this particular user on these resources where we have like Azure VM, this is resource, resource group, subscription and management group. So to assign access to this particular user, we use role based access control. So basically we can uh, provide access for levels, for scopes basically, in term, we call it scopes. So there are four scopes, management group, subscription, resource group, and resource itself. So those in four, in those four area, basically we can provide access to this particular user. So this process is called a authorization. So whatever we have created here user, that is a authentication. So like this user is authenticated on this particular Azure AD. And with the help of role-based access control, we are doing the authorization to these resources. So I'll again go back to my slide. So with RBAC, you can grant exact access that users need to do their jobs. So as I told you in the previous slides, like we can provide access in four, four levels, management group level, subscription level, resource group level, and resource itself. So based on our requirement, based on the user need, basically we can grant access to the particular things where exactly the user need access. For example, you can use RVAC to let one employee manage virtual machines in a subscription while other users manage SQL database within the same subscription. So user specific, we can assign the permission as well. So we will see how does RVAC work. So you control access to resources using RVAC by creating a role assignment. So when we assign access to the, any of the resources, we need to create a roles. So with the help of rule, basically what we are going to do, we are controlling the access on the particular resources with the help of roles. So which control how permissions are enforced. To create a role assignment, you need three elements, a security principle, a role definition and a scope. You can think of these elements as who, what and where. So first is security principle. So it's basically a representation who is going to get the access like users, group, service principle and manage identity. So this is called a who, who is going to access those resources. Next we have a roles where basically role, a role definition is a collection of permissions. It's some, sometimes some called a, it's called a role or role definition list the permission that can be performed such as read, write, delete. So roles can be high level or like owner or specific like virtual machine contributor. So based on requirement, there are few inbuilt roles. It's already there and you can also create a custom role as per your need. So with the help of rule, basically we are providing, we are assigning the permission like read, write, contributor, owner. So those permissions, those roles basically we can assign to the resources. Next is come to scope means where. So it's where scope is considered as a set of resources on which access will be applied. We can, for example, assign permission to the specific resources like Azure App Service, Azure SQL, Azure BM likewise. So basically the scope, as we discussed, the four levels we have to define the scopes. Management group is a top level resource where we can provide the role based access control under management group it's comes subscription we can apply permission of subscription level then we have resource group then resources for example if we are providing a permission to that particular user on management group level it means that permission that user has to have access in all the resources like all the subscription all the resource group and all the resources 
so generally uh, in normal world basically how we provide the access like it's basically uh, so mostly we provide access on resource group or resource level so that's how basically our way role works next we will see create next we will see it in demo like how to create a rvec rule and how to assign the rvec rule to a specific resource or resource group so i am on my azure portal here what i will do i'll create a user account in active directory and will assign that particular user to any of the resource or resource group so first we will create a user account here so if i'll go to my azure active directory and in manage section we have a users so as of now i don't have any users this is the admin user in, in which from which i have basically logged in so i'll create a new user here i'll put name demo username demo and name also i'm giving same demo password i'll create password from my own we don't have any groups so i'm keeping is default next is not mandatory fields so i'm just leaving it default i'll hit on create so it's trying to create okay so if i go to notification tab so you can see a uh, user demo successfully created so now what i will do i will log in to this particular demo user account and we will see uh we can do we have permission to any of the resource or resource group so we will check first thing so i'll copy the principal user principal name here from here and i'll go to my incognito mode so password i will provide now what we need to do we need to reset the password so i'll enter my old password and click on sign in so i'm logged in with my demo user account if i'll see here if i'll go to resource group i cannot see any resource group here but if i go back to my admin account we have a resource group called demo now what i will do i'll add this particular demo user account in the demo resource group so i'll go to my demo resource group access control and i'll create a add a role assignment here i'll create uh, i'll select the owner as a role and i'll click on next next we need to select the users which user we want to provide the access so i'll choose my demo user account from here and i'll select it next review and assign so we'll click on review and assign so we have successfully added the role assignment as a owner to the demo resource group so if i go back to my demo user account and i'll hit i'll just refresh this page so if i go to my resource group now here we can see we have a demo resource group under the demo user account so that's how basically uh, we provide the role based access control to the specific resources resource group or subscription level as per our requirement we can specify or be sorry we can provide the access to the resources so thank you so much see you in next video